Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is perfect timing, really, with the heat wave, because a couple of weeks ago I made an order with Shein to do a kind of summer holiday type haul. I have done an order with them before, but I think it was maybe like November? I'm not even sure. It was, it was a while ago, it was a winter one. And I've seen loads of really cute kind of dresses. I wanted to order some, see what they were like, see what the quality was like, and also the fit. So, if you're looking for summer wear for the heat wave, this is the place to be. Although she and orders do take quite a while to get here. So I ordered this about two weeks ago. I just got normal delivery though. I didn't pay extra to have the express, which you can do. So I'm going to talk you through a few of the accessories first. This is all that I'm sat on, it's really like squeaky. Anyway, so I ordered this. I'm not going to lie, I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. And it's tiny and I can't tell if it's tiny in a cute way or tiny in a creepy way. I thought it was going to be yeah a lot bigger than this but I like the idea of this so it's like a little wickery type coin purse inside this kind of plasticky bag and I thought this would be great just to carry around when you're on holiday chuck your phone bit of money in it keys and it's just a really simple little bag I do kind of like it I mean I like it I just wish it was bigger so I guess it depends what you want it does also come with a long chain strap, ooh, which you can attach to these rings here, which is really helpful as well. So this was really cheap, actually. This was £8.14 for the bag. So, yeah, really not expensive. The quality, I mean, the quality's not bad, actually. It's difficult to tell, because obviously this is so plasticky, but it's meant to be so and also it is very squished from being in the box they said everything in such a tiny box that it was all absolutely smushed i think the quality is actually all right for an eight quid bag just again wish it was a little bit bigger so next thing i got is this hat and i don't know why i always buy hats because i never wear them and i take them on holiday with me and i don't wear them a, like a single time so it's a bit of a habit this again was really squished so it's a bit deformed so it's just a little beach hat you have this really sweet pom-pom detailing around here which i love that's the reason i got this one looks like that comes off as well actually yeah. so they had quite a few of these this one says do not disturb but they have quite a lot of them which are kind of same same but different they say different things or the trim might be different so if that wording isn't something that you would like go check out the rest because there are quite a few different options i mean okay first off i have a gigantic head and this does fit me but it's absolutely mashed it needs to be reshaped a little bit because it's been squished in the box but as a hat I do really like it I've got no idea if you guys can see that hopefully you can so I do have another one similar to this which is just a plain grey but I love this colour and I love the kind of pom-pom details I feel like this one would go with more stuff but I just know what I'm like and will I wear it no I won't because I'll just get irritated with having a hat on my head but if you are going to wear a hat, this is really cool actually. And it says the materials are 100% paper. That is, I don't know if that's, it can't be 100% paper. Because this is all stitched in. This is um, a kind of embroidered with a kind of woolly type material. I can't find my worst today. It's so hot and absolutely dying. So that hat was only £6.52. When I did order this stuff, there was a little bit of a sale going on, so the prices may vary a little bit, but they seem to have a lot of sales all the time though, so fingers crossed. 
And obviously guys, as per usual, I'm gonna be linking everything down below as well. So if you did wanna go check them out. Okay, I got some shoes as well. So I got these shoes because I wanted, I've said this before, I don't really like wearing flat sandals. I don't know what it is. I have these kind of Birkenstock-esque um, sandals I got from Pretty Little Thing, which I wear a lot, but they're not proper like strappy sandals. And I normally go for a kind of heeled sandal and it's not always great when you're walking around, like it's just gonna kill your feet. But I saw these and the heel, they do have a heel, but it's such a small heel. So it's just a really simple kind of block strap sandal with, I mean, that's literally like two inches, not too high. You could wear them for quite a while. I mean, if you're gonna be walking around all day long, I wouldn't suggest these, but you know, you're not, your feet aren't gonna get as achy as they would Normally I got these in a size seven. I thought they fit absolutely fine. And the quality is really good actually. It's really nice kind of suede fabric. So these shoes were only 16 pounds 35, which is really, really cheap actually. And I'd say that quality wise, they're no different kind of like new look, that kind of quality. So, if you are looking for a cheaper pair of shoes, those are actually quite good quality for the price that you do pay. And I got another pair of shoes and these are my favorite. You'll see me wearing these with a couple of the outfits anyway, but they're similar to what I said before. I don't really like flat sandals. I don't know what it is. I'm weird. It's not that I don't like them on other people. I just feel a bit flat footed and a bit blah in them and I don't find them comfortable. So I got these and again, you can see the actual heel height is not very high at all. And your platform, so it's giving you a lot of height, not that I need it because I'm five foot seven, but it kind of makes you feel like you are wearing heels when actually they're so comfortable. You could walk in these for ages and they have this really sweet crossover detailing what? to the front. And this is what I found really funny actually. So. It looks like a buckle, but actually, instead of doing it up like a normal buckle, you literally just hook it on like that, and it is so quick and easy. I don't know why more people don't do that, rather than faffing around with little buckles all the time. So these were so comfortable. I love this color, this kind of sand biscuity color, and that's really in right now as well. And the espadrille, you've got a little bit of white detailing there. The bottoms on these, are quite i mean the orangey bit's like hard but they're like foamy but yeah really comfortable absolutely love these definitely my favorite out of the two pair of shoes and again size seven i thought they were absolutely fine these were slightly pricier than the black ones they were 18 pounds 75 but again that's really not bad for a really really cute pair of kind of heeled sandals and again these are perfect for daytime walking or going out in the evening. So yeah, you wanna invest in a pair of shoes like this really. Right, so I'm gonna jump into the clothes now. First off, generally as a kind of size guide, uh, XL is a size UK 16. Most of the things I've got in an XL, apart from maybe one or two bits, but I'll obviously talk to you through the sizing anyway, but yeah. Okay, first outfit. So I got this black jumpsuit and the thought process behind this is that I thought this would make a really, really good airport outfit. So it's something you can wear to the airport. It's really nice, thin jersey material. You have these adjustable kind of spaghetti straps. It's just a kind of longer length, kind of straight slash slim leg cut but you could also wear this out in the evening on holiday as well. It's really comfortable. The waistband is elasticated. I got this in a size large. I thought the sizing was spot on, but for me, because I've got a big bum, I felt like where the ruching is around the waist, it didn't come up quite high enough on my back because my bum was taking up too much room. So I would say, yeah, sizing spot on, a size XL would fit me a lot better. 
but yeah, it's just really comfortable. I belted it in. I wore it with my kind of Birkenstock-esque sandals. Okay, so like I said, I got this in a large. It actually said this that this is a 12 slash 14. So I would actually say it's quite generous in size for a 12 slash 14, but it was only eight pounds 14. So really, really cheap. And I just love stuff like this. It's just, it's really versatile. You can literally wear this anywhere. Okay, this print is by far my most favorite print out of the whole lot. I've got it twisted, I don't know which way's up. Right, I got this wrap around dress in this absolutely stunning, it's like a watercolor kind of leopard print and you can see you've kind of got hints of, you know, your kind of goldeny colors, you've got blues, you've got dark ambery, browny colors as well. This print is to die for and I actually really liked the fit of this as well. It was a wrap around dress, really comfortable. It's kind of a ballerina style one where you feed the stringy bits through and wrap it around and tie it behind. And I love that because you can kind of tighten it and adjust it to fit your body. So that was great. The only issue was I had a tiny bit of gaping here, which was a bit odd. And I probably would just grab a little pin just to pin it in the middle because any dress like that where you're wrapping it round and it's not kind of sewn in place, it does have a tendency to move, especially if you have boobs. So I personally just prefer to just grab a little safety pin and just pin it on the inside. And then you don't have to worry about having a boob slip out in the middle of a dinner or whatever. Yeah, fit I thought was pretty spot on. You have your adjustable straps as well, which was great. The quality of this is okay. It's not the nicest feeling fabric it feels a little synthetic-y but at the end of the day i think that you have to just understand that when you do order from shein is that you get these amazing really really cheap prices but the quality is never going to be 110 percent because i mean why would it be when you're paying that much for the clothing so i do think bear that in mind but at the end of the day there's like nothing wrong with the dress i really like it and i love that the detailing on the bottom it has this kind of flare and it's lower at the back as well i just loved it i thought it was so comfortable i felt really good in it and sometimes i struggle when you have a kind of wrap over dress where it feels like it's going to fly open and you're going to flash everyone i did not feel like that in this i did feel quite secure and covered in it i think it's probably because the back was a lot lower maybe i'm not sure but absolutely loved this so got it in an XL, I thought the, the sizing was spot on and this was only £14.67. So that's amazing value for such a striking kind of dress. Okay, I have another amazing wraparound dress. I think I'm definitely into the whole wraparound thing at the moment. I'm not sure if that's what's in season or if that's just what I'm preferring at the moment. So this really nice, it's another Dalmatian print because when do I not order Dalmatian print? And it's a really, really nice, comfortable wraparound tea dress style dress. Absolutely love this. I thought this was really comfortable, really flattering. The material, actually the material on this is, feels a lot nicer than that kind of leopard print one. It's a lot kind of softer and what you'd expect from a kind of like a tea dress. I hope people know what I mean when I say that. It's a kind of, not a shirt material, but a really soft shirt-ish material. I don't know what I'm talking about. I like that this had little sort of floaty sleeves on it. I thought that's great because it makes it a lot more kind of versatile. If you do want to wear this at home, you could wear something like this to work. Depending on your dress code in your office, I know I've had loads of messages saying people wouldn't be able to get away with that in their office, but some people will. Again, with this, I love that it has this kind of stitched de detailing at the bottom that means you kind of get that kick flare. I just thought it was so, so sweet. And this is perfect for this kind of weather. It's just really light, floaty material and it's so comfortable. And having the kind of, again, similar style where it's a ballerina s kind of wrap through tie at the back, it means that you can just sort of, you have that shape but you don't feel like you're wearing a really tight, uncomfortable dress. And again, you can kind of do it as tight, as loose as you want. 
Again, I got this in an XL, sizing was spot on, and this was only £13.04, which is such a weird number, but I think that's after the discount. So for an, ev this is like an everyday dress and a holiday dress. It would look great with heels and red lipstick in the evening as well. For 13 quid, oh my gosh, like you just cannot go wrong. Okay, next up. So this outfit really, really confused me. So it's a two piece set. You have this long kind of floaty skirt, but when I opened the packet, there was like two tops and I thought, oh, well, they've accidentally sent me more than one top. No, no, no. It's meant to be a, a little crop halter neck top. So you have this one, which is like a little boob tube. So you put that over, but then to get that pretty over the top one, you just whack that on over your arms like that. So they're not actually attached, which I couldn't figure out if that was genius or if that was really stupid. And I think the answer is stupid because I put it on and I was like, oh yeah, this is good. Bent over to pick something up and this just popped off. It came like over my, not popped off, but it came like up here. So it's the kind of outfit that you'd have to be really careful how much you moved in it. You'd have to walk around like this so that it wouldn't move around. The, mater the material on this, it isn't bad, but it's quite see-through. I wore it with black underwear, which was stupid. So you'd probably be all right if you wore nude underwear. Um, the skirt came up a little tight on me, actually. It had a slit up one leg, which I quite liked. It, it's kind of on the side a little bit, so it wasn't too bad. I didn't feel like I was gonna expose too much. But yeah, for me, this little crop top thing, it's like it doesn't have a front and a back to it. So it is literally just cut like a square. And I felt that at the front where I have boobs, it was coming up kind of like that. It was being filled. And then the back of it was really saggy because obviously I don't have boobs on my back. Yeah, I like the idea of it, but it's just not been very well executed. The print that I do love the print, I thought it was really cool. Just a really nice kind of bright, light, summery floral pattern. It was a size XL. Again, I'd say it came up a little small actually. And I know it's meant to be like this because it looks like this on the model, but I thought the skirt was really short. It kind of felt like it was cut off too short. I don't know if maybe that's just me, but this was only £12.23. Okay, another dress. And shock, it's another wrap dress. So this is a shorter style kind of wrapped tea dress. Love this colour. I know I'm wearing green right now, but like, I don't normally wear this kind of colour, but I just absolutely loved this. I thought it was a really nice kind of dark green. I thought it was a really sort of flattering with like a little bit of a tan. Goes well with blonde hair. I thought the style of this was really nice. So it kind of wraps over at the front and then this bit that wraps over has this extra little kind of frill bit. Really nice, really comfortable. Again, really nice thin floaty fabric. It was a tad bit on the short side, but I didn't feel uncomfortable in it. And I think it's probably because it has this little flare bit that kind of comes in and flicks out a bit that you feel like it's not gonna blow up and you, you know, you're not gonna expose your bum. Nice little frilly cap sleeves. I just absolutely loved it. Similar to the kind of dresses before. Actually, the fabric on this is quite similar to that leopard print dress that I showed you first where it's slightly kind of synthetic -y. It's not quite as nice as the Dalmatian print fabric. And again, similar kind of issue where it was kind of coming open a little bit, but I would just safely pin that, no problem. And you can just sew a button in or sew like a popper in if it really bothers you that much. And price-wise, so this was an XL again, I think sizing spot on, and it was £11.41. £11.41, that's really good. Again, I don't think you can go that wrong with, it's basically 10 quid for a really sweet little summer dress. Right, okay, next up I've got this top. Little disclaimer, this, it just did not fit me. This did not fit me. So this little top, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is so friggin' sweet. So it's a little kind of, right, let me get this right. Brodery Anglais, Brodery Anglais, right. It's that kind of material, 
but then the kind of bit around the waist is actually see-through so the bit behind your boobs is lined and then the rest of it you can see a little bit of skin through which I think is adorable the straps on these are actually elasticated they don't look like they're going to be but they are and I think that's really nice actually it makes it a bit more comfortable but I will tell you what's not comfortable my boobs they were really really flattened in this actually what size did I get this in yeah so I got this in an XL so in theory this should have fit but so I wore it without a bra but it just made my my boobs like squares it kind of just flattened them so from the side they were just cubies and so there is a zip down the side so the zip runs from here all the way down and I felt like I could only really zip it up that much and then so I kind of go like that and it would zip into this bit and then where my hips slash hips yeah just hips I guess it basically wouldn't zip up it felt like it was too tight on the bottom half or like it was a bit too long so if it was if you kind of got rid of this bit at the bottom it would have been fine yeah for me it was just it was too kind of boxy cut I mean I'm trying to show it to you properly but I don't feel like it's yeah you can see how much of a box it is right so I do really like it it's really cute the quality is really good I can't fault it for that and the pattern I mean I'll try and give you a close up the pattern is really really nice on that and it looks like a really good quality piece of clothing I don't think I would have ever guessed that that was from Shein so yeah it just it just didn't suit me I think it's partly to do with the kind of style of it but yeah I did think it came up really small anyway uh and this was only seven pounds 33 which I'm not surprised it's that cheap because it's such a tiny bit of clothing but yeah that is really cheap because if you were to find something like that in a high street store it would be like at least 20 pounds because I do think that you pay quite a lot to have little, a lot of little detailing like that. Right, last but not least, I've taken this off inside out. I've got a skirt uh, to show you. So, this skirt, I love this, it's kind of a midi length skirt, but we have that kind of flamenco-y layering, which seems to be everywhere right now but I am loving it and this has an elasticated waistband so this was really comfortable although having said that I don't think it was the most flattering because on me I had quite a lot of bunched up material here so I think it would be more flattering if it was kind of more of like a normal kind of zip fitting but I mean it's really comfortable it is really comfortable I'm not gonna lie to give you a little close-up of print so it's kind of a speckledy print but slightly florally design nice navy blue goes with loads of stuff I just chucked it on with that t-shirt just to show you I probably wouldn't necessarily wear it with that but again just really nice floaty you're going to be really cool in this it's not kind of like too much fabric it's not going to overheat you the quality of this really good actually like I'm I'm honestly really surprised with all of this that the quality has been so good considering the pricing is so cheap this I got in an XL as well I'd say the sizing again is spot on and this was £9.78 which is so cheap so so cheap for a skirt especially one that has like extra material like this yeah I definitely say that's worth it but just to let you know I did have another skirt to try on which was kind of similar but it was a short version and it was a wrap around kind of one with a zip fastening and it was an XL as well I was not getting that on like it was probably like I had that much room between the zipper I was trying to get it on and it, it was not going to do up so I feel like I have been lucky with the bits that I've got that they do majority of them are exactly as I would expect size wise but there was that one bit of clothing that seemed to be completely off and then I'd say that that kind of two piece with the frilly hold neck thing was slightly small but overall the sizing has been pretty spot on and I know that is a lot of 
people's worry when they buy from stores online that they don't know is that they may come up really small but I would say it is spot on and I'd say stuff is true to size I'd say it's more true to size than like Primark because Primark is really bad with their sizing so I would definitely rather order from Shein than from Primark and I think it, Shein is actually cheaper and the stuff's probably nicer than Primark as well so yeah also you can just return stuff as well you know they've got an easy return process I did that last time I ordered it I had no problems there so it is really easy but yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with most of my bits. And I think that's been a pretty good haul, actually. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.